Hey there, and welcome back to a classic premise lug tutorial video. My name is Jonathan, and what I'm gonna do today is show you how you can take an ACF field that has a YouTube video URL and show it in your Gutenberg site extremely easily with just a very simple block of custom code. So in my case here, as you can see in my site, I have an ACF field down here that has a YouTube video URL, and I'm using Generate Press, so I wanted to dynamically show this in my blog post template, but the problem is that since that field is in either a text or an oembed field, there's no way that I can use the YouTube or even the embed function built into WordPress because of course I can't add custom code here. It's expecting a URL on each post, but that's not one I wanna do. I don't wanna go backward and update all of my posts and manually move those URLs into this URL field. Instead, what I want is to be able to take that ACF field and have it automatically rendered on the front end. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is go to your ACF field group. And in my case, this one is just called video URL. And this field started off life as a text field type. And I was able to change this to the oembed type. Now, the reason I need to do this is because on the front end, it's gonna automatically embed that player for me. So it's gonna take that raw URL that you saw from YouTube and make it a functional video player on the front end for me. Now, of course, like I said, it did automatically switch that over and I kept all of the data in those fields, but go ahead and take a backup of your site to make sure that nothing goes wrong in the process. So now we have our video URL switched to oembed, which is why in my post, you can actually see the video in the back end too. So at this point, what we need to do is define a custom function that's gonna create a shortcode for us. So what that looks like in the back end here, is you can see I have a shortcode field here and, and in that I've typed YT video, which is the name of the custom shortcode that I created. So I can actually get rid of this YouTube component there. And this shortcode field is actually what's rendering the video on the front end. So as you can see, I have my post title, I have my categories here, and then I have this video. And in the elements function, you can see title, I have my categories, and then the video element in this shortcode. So in order to do this, what we need to do is create our custom function. So you can do this in functions.php in your child theme. In my case, I'm using advanced scripts, and another viable option for you is code snippets. So if we take a look here at what is actually happening, we are defining a function that has the name of YT video shortcode. Then we're creating this variable called my field, and we're using the ACF function of get field to grab the ACF field name from our post. So in my case, that ACF field is called video URL, and you can look at that, this name right here, this is what you want. So if yours is different, you wanna go ahead and copy this, and just simply replace this line right there. So there's nothing else in this line here that you need to change except making sure your field name matches. From there, we're just simply returning the value of that field and the reason this works is because, like I already said, we changed the field group to oembed. So on the front end, WordPress is gonna handle converting that raw link into a functional player for us. Now the next thing is this add shortcode. This is the name of the shortcode. So as you saw, YT video is what it says here and that's what it says right here. You just of course need to make sure to add the opening and closing brackets to your shortcode component in your actual post. The other thing you need to do is if you change the function name here, this function name has to match identically. So if you were to add, you know, the number two, then it needs to look like that. You can name the shortcode whatever you want. You could add an underscore and say, you know, local or whatever you need to. You can, you can adjust the name of the shortcode. So at this point, all you need to do is save and activate your code snippet. And then what you can do is, in my case, of course, I'm using this dynamically. So I added a shortcode component. I popped in the shortcode open bracket YT video and the close bracket. And now on the front end, I get my fancy little YouTube player here and it just works for me automatically. So what I can do at this point is I can leave all these video URLs here in the ACF field. In the future, if I wanted, I could go ahead and start adding in the YouTube component directly here because of course I'll be doing them one by one. This will definitely give me a bit of flexibility if I choose to go this route, but at least this way, if you have an archive of videos that you're trying to move over from an advanced custom field, like in my case, 130 posts, I did not wanna go backwards and do that. This is the simple solution. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Drop a like and a subscribe on the channel if it was. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.